Michael writes, Kevin, lately I have seen a lot of photos of Sea-Doo ST3 hulls that have uh, that have cracked. Looks like all in the same spot near the front bottom of the hull. Owners have said they haven't hit anything. What do you think? I know all about it. And I told you all about it. But I'll do it again. Uh, all right. So uh, they are all cracking. If you're looking at it, it's on the front right side, down towards the bottom, inside of that concave, kind of that teardrop shape. It's all happening inside of there. And why is it happening there? So let's pretend this is the mold for the hull. All right. What's happening with the molding process? Because what they do is that they take they take they take a sheet of laminate, they put it into a vacuum mold, and it goes and it turns into a turns, turns into a boat. <laughs> this is terrible. Oh my god. All right. And they they vacuum mold it into a into a hull, all right? But it's still just a sheet of acrylic. So what they do is that they put that acrylic sheet that's molded into the mold. This is the stupidest thing I've ever done. Okay. That acrylic sheet is in the mold. And then they take that liquefied fiberglass, the white CM tech. That's what they that's what CM tech is. And they inject it into the mold. All right. Let's pretend this pink post-it note is the entire hull. And that goes in everywhere. And when it dries and it cures, they pop up in the mold. And now you've got a hull and a deck that you can glue together. And now you have a seated. All right. Here's the problem. Why are they all cracking in that one spot? Because there's an air pocket that can't get pushed out. They can't get that last bit of air out of the mold to push all that fiberglass in. So it's a thin spot. It's thin. And that's what they're fighting with. Is it's a thin spot. Same thing happens with plastic when they mold plastic. Same thing happens with anything, any mold. All right. You want, I learned, I cut my teeth on the molding process when it came to pouring cylinder heads, engine blocks, and um, intake manifolds. All right. And porosity of the metal or the porosity of the porosity of the, uh, uh, media they call it a media the the product or the the material that you're pushing through the mold you're 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 worried about por porosity how, how much air is in it itself so it's got little air pockets and the integrity of the 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 inter the integrity of the mold and then you're also worried about okay media porosity hull uh mold integrity and evacuation evacuation was the last one and if you can if it can evacuate all the air if it can't evacuate the air and let all the media in it's a bad mold you got to make changes to the mold okay sorry i'm i'm digging into 10 year old information that i haven't pulled up in a long time okay hey guys thanks for hanging out this clip was taken from our weekly podcast that we record here every Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to watch the whole video, you can go to the Watercraft Journal's YouTube channel, go to Playlists, and then click on Live Sessions. You're going to see it there. Otherwise, go ahead and leave a like, a comment, and definitely subscribe to the channel. It helps us grow. And again, thanks again for watching our videos, and we hope to see you soon.